The primary focus of the Winter Ball program is to introduce elementary school children to the fundamentals of baseball in a fun manner that is non-competitive and that provides a positive learning experience for all involved. The Winter Ball program complies with the Ministry of Education's curriculum and ensures quality activities that can measure a student's progress. It is an excellent way to promote physical activity by providing a resource for physical education classes, daily physical activities, intramural sports, or just for a rainy day activity. Lesson 7, Grades 5 and 6. Lesson Objective, Reviewing Baseball Skills. The goals of this lesson are, one, to develop throwing, receiving, and batting skills through group activity. Two, to foster team cooperation and fair play. And three, to encourage positive feedback between teams. Entry Activity Target Zone Targets are placed around the gym. You may use hoops on the floor, paper targets on the walls, and pylon markers. Students should work in groups at each target station, taking turns throwing various objects such as playground balls, foam balls, wiffle balls, and bean bags at the target. Once students have rotated through all the stations, they should practice moving further away from the target and rotating through the stations more quickly. Skill Development Fundamentals of Batting Focus Points Please refer to the Focus Points menu of this DVD for a review of grip, swing, and batting stance A and B before proceeding. The teacher should demonstrate proper batting stance and gripping technique. Students should be divided into pairs to practice the batting movements with a bat, racket, or paddle. The teacher should move around the gym, providing feedback on proper swing and grip techniques. Game. Fair play. For the game of fair play, divide the students into two teams. One team will be up to bat and the other will be in the field. The team that is up to bat must stay up to bat until each person scores. If a grounder is hit, the batter advances one base. On an infield fly, the batter advances two bases and on an outfield fly, the batter advances three bases. When runners are on base, they move ahead as their teammates get hits. In order for a hit to count, the fielder must stop the ball on a grounder or catch it on a fly. The main duty of the fielder is to catch the ball and help the batter get on base. This promotes true sportsmanship and helps all players to succeed. In order for the fielding team to get up to bat, they need to help the batting team score. Fielders should rotate through the different baseball positions at regular intervals. Details about different baseball positions can be found in the teacher's manual. If necessary, use a batting tee to help the player at bat hit the ball. Once the players have progressed, have a fielder pitch the ball. The better the pitch is, the more likely it is that points will be scored. Cool down. The teacher should perform a variety of body stretches while the students imitate the teacher. Focus on stretching arms and legs thoroughly. Discuss the importance of positive feedback with the students and ask them to provide positive feedback to each other. <laughs> 